is Chris from Mr. PLC again, and um, I just kind of wanted to show um, a lot of people ask um, or they can't confirm if their USB cable is installed properly or they plugged it in and it didn't didn't install correctly. So let's go and check this out. I, I think I've recreated that situation on this computer that I'm uh, screencasting on. And I'm going to go into my computer control panel. And I know my USB is not working, but I don't know why. So I, I'm going to show you how to check it out and fix it. Um, back to system properties on this one and hardware. And then go to device manager. Okay, let's uh, bring our here's our device manager window. And device manager, we're looking for anything with a um, an exclamation point. And in this case, here's one here, but uh, that's not particularly what we're looking for. Um, but uh, we are looking for our USB. PLC cable and you can see it has a yellow exclamation point if uh, it has a yellow exclamation point that means that's the primary reason or that's the reason why it's not working okay um, so how do we fix this the cable is already plugged into the laptop and we can fix it right here from device manager fairly easily if we just right click on it and do update driver and at that point we get the hardware wizard and um, hardware wizard window and we're gonna say no to the question of going out to windows we're going to click on advanced and then browse to our driver folder which that's the one that we downloaded off of uh, plccables.com um, right to uh, a folder called driver off the desktop and we'll click next and it'll go ahead and install um, the first part of the USB PLC cable adapter which is the USB to PLC serial converter and then this window here is um, this driver is not logo Windows logo tested, so we'll just go ahead and say continue anyway, and let it install that. And then what will happen is it'll install the second half of the driver, which is the serial port driver. And um, you can see right here, I've got Device Manager open. It's got an exclamation point. You can see that the exclamation point is now gone from the USB side, and now it's moving over to the serial side. And if I hit cancel here um, and not continue with that driver, uh, basically it'll say, you know, problem has occurred with the hardware, um, and we did, and we basically failed installing the serial port serial port portion. Um, so let's uh, let me open it up again and just confirm that control panel and go to system properties, hardware, device manager and there's our serial port so it is broke basically so how do we fix that we same process we did earlier right click on it update driver and now we get the update wizard window again we'll say no to this uh, click advanced next and then browse to the folder that has the driver in it and say okay next and we get the hardware logo window we'll say continue to that and we'll go ahead and install the serial port portion again on this. Um, that will finish. And now we have a USB um, serial port on there. Now it's it's set at COM5. And if you watch my first video, I talk about how to change that. And uh, I won't do that now, but I'll just leave it at COM port 5 for now. And let's just go ahead and confirm uh, RS, RS links uh, with it. So we'll leave it at COM port 5 and see if it works for us this time. And again, you can watch the other, the first video that I'll describe that. Um, since we were playing with it before, we, our, our DF1 driver is configured for COM2. You can see there's a port conflict. And the reason why is because it's not on COM port 2 anymore. It's on COM port 5. So we need to change that. So we'll select COM port 5, MicroLogics, and hit Auto Configure. And um, there, there we've got a... Well, it said failed, and then it said auto conf or auto configure successful. So let's see if it actually worked okay. The driver says it's running on COM5, and there's our MarkaLogix there. So, so there we've successfully um, went in and repaired um, a failed USB driver for whatever reason by going into Device Manager, and I've walked you through that process, and also using RS Links Gateway. So hopefully this is a an additional troubleshooting video that you can use to help you troubleshoot USB problems. And thanks for watching this video. This is Chris from Mr. PLC. Thank you.